guys, it's Trina, and today I am doing the mid-year book freakout tag. This was originally created by Chami from the channel Read Like Wildfire and Ellie from the channel Earl Grey Books. I've wanted to do this tag for like the past couple years, and I just always kind of missed the mid-year time frame to film it and post it, so I'm doing it this year though. So the first question is, what's the best book you've read so far in 2017? That is definitely The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I really loved this book and I thought it was especially amazing as a debut novel. I just thought that she was an incredible writer. She really brought this character and the location to life and the story is very important and also just very real. So I just really enjoyed everything about this book. Can't recommend it highly enough. Question two is, what is the best sequel you've read so far this year? And for me, that is Waking Gods by Sylvain Nouvelle. This is the sequel to Sleeping Giants. This is an adult science fiction series. And I liked the first book, but I loved the second book. I listened to both of these on audiobook, and that is definitely the format that I would recommend if you have that option available to you, because this entire series takes place in the form of transcripts of interviews and diaries that have been recorded, so listening to the series is just very organic and really fitting to the story and how it is meant to be told, but when I listened to this book, I just could not stop geeking out about it. This is my fangirl experience of 2017 so far, was with this series. Question three, a 2017 new release that you haven't read yet but really want to. Oh my gosh, for me that is definitely The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albert Talley. I know I'm going to love this book so much, like I can already tell that I'm going to really, really identify with the main character Molly, and I have no good excuse for hesitating to read it. I just think like, this book means so much to me, I don't want it to be over, so I'm just not even going to start it. Uh, yeah, that makes no sense. But this is one of my most anticipated book releases of this year, and I am really, really dying to read it. Number four, what's your most anticipated release for the rest of 2017? For me, no surprise to most of you, that is This Darkness Mine by Minnie McGinnis. This comes out this fall, and it is another contemporary, so this is like the first genre that Minnie McGinnis is repeating. But it has like this edge to it, where the main character doesn't know if the things that are happening to her are really happening to her or if it's all in her head. So I'm just really excited about that. I like novels where you don't really know what the truth is, and I love Minnie McGinnis' books, so you know this is number one on my list of new releases coming out. Number five, biggest disappointment of the year. I think for me that was Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. Wayfarer is the book that made me realize I don't get along with Alexandra Bracken's writing. There's nothing wrong with her writing, she's a skilled writer, but my brain does not process it well. It's overly detailed, I get very distracted, and I cannot focus on the words on the page. The first book in this duology was Passenger, and that was the first book I'd ever read by Alexandra Bracken. I read it last year when it came out, and I really struggled with the first half of that book, but the end of it really made up for it to me, and I was just so excited. I was like, yes, I love this, I love this concept and everything. So when Wayfarer was coming out, I was very hyped for that book. I wanted to read it, and I think that I just had too high of expectations. It was a struggle from start to finish, not just the first half, and the ending was very unfulfilling to me. I've tried four of her books now. This was the last one, and I just think I'm kind of done, which is not trying to be an insult to her or her writing. It's just a, you know, we don't mesh well unfortunately, and Wayfarer was the book that showed me that. Question six, biggest surprise of the year. One of the easier answers for me to go with, because I've got several that would definitely fit this one, would be Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. This book, I think, came out last fall, and it got a lot of mixed reviews. I definitely really enjoyed that book much more than I expected to. Um, yeah, I can't explain it. It just really blew me away. I liked it. I think that one definitely surprised me, because I had no idea what to expect from it with all those mixed reviews. Number seven is your favorite new to you author that you discovered in 2017. So this year, I definitely discovered that I love Ruth Ware's writing. She's an adult thriller mystery writer, and I read The Woman in Cabin 10, and then I read In a Dark, Dark Wood. I have had some issues with a lot of her character descriptions. I think that she weight shames, uses some bad stereotypes in The Woman in Cabin 10, but I think her mysteries are a little lackluster, but there's something about her writing that I really, really like. She gives you flash forwards. Instead of flashbacks to like fill in the back, it's flash forwards where something has happened and you're just reading the book like, wait, how did we go from the main story to this future outcome? I just am dying to know how we got there. So she is definitely an author who has grabbed me. She has created suspense in a way that I love. and. 
Both of these books did that and they had that same effect on me, so I'm definitely dying to read more by Ruth Ware. Question 8, newest fictional crush. I don't really have fictional crushes. I ship couples much more than I will crush on like one fictional character like with me or anything, but I do want to give you guys a recommendation in case you're looking for very swoony fictional characters. I am currently reading When Dipple Met Rishi by Cynthia Menon. It's a contemporary romance about Indian American characters who their parents want to set them up in an arranged marriage, and one of them is really into this idea, the other one has wants nothing to do with it. I'm really enjoying the dynamic between these two characters and just some lines that Rishi will throw out there, I'm like, oh. So, you know, if you're looking for the swoon, I definitely will would recommend this book. Question 9 is newest favorite character and I have no idea for this one honestly I'm gonna skip it. Um, last year I did have a very distinct favorite character of all the books that I read last year and that was the dragon character Sephira from the Aragon Inheritance Cycle series um, but I don't have one so far this year that is standing out to me as like the one character to beat all other characters that I have read about so Ask me that again at the end of 2017. Question 10 is a book that made you cry. And for me, I sobbed big fat tears of just every emotion when I read the March Trilogy graphic novels by John Lewis. I just think that this is an incredible, real, true story. And I love that John Lewis wrote this memoir of his life and that we have this look, very personal look, into American U.S. history and into the Civil Rights Movement. And it just made me cry so much at realizing how, I mean, I always knew this, but you know, when you read about it currently, it just is the wake-up call at how recent some of these events were in our history and just like what all the country has been through, what all people have been through here in America. And it just, it was definitely, it's a great, great series. You know, it's not all sad, but that book definitely made me cry. Number 11 is a book that made you happy. So for this one, I'm gonna go with like, you know, the most cliche of all books, but Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling because this month I had just have listened to the audiobook of this and it was my first time ever listening to any of the audiobooks from this series. It's just really delightful to be back in that world in a new format, new to me format, you know, with the audio. I really, really enjoyed it and it definitely just made me happy and I did not want to stop listening to it. It was just Wonderful. Question 12 is what's your favorite book to movie adaptation that you've seen this year? And I think the only adaptation that I've seen this year is of Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. By default it's got to be my favorite because I think it's the only one, but I did think that it was a very loyal adaptation from what I can remember and I did like it. So yeah, I would recommend watching that movie if you enjoyed that book. Question 13 is what's your favorite video that you have made so far this year? I am very proud of the interview that I got to do with Mindy McGinnis at CFS in March. Um, because I just was really nervous to do an author interview. I had no idea what I was doing and I was just afraid that I came off like a total dweeb, awkwardness ensued and you know all that stuff. But getting to interview like one of my favorite authors was just a really amazing experience and I'm just really glad that I had the confidence to pursue that and then actually go through with it, you know. Number 14 is what's the most beautiful book that you have bought or received so far this year? And I'm gonna have to repeat a book for this one and go with Wind of Home at Rishi again because I just think this cover just looks like happiness and it just looks like a little ray of sunshine. So I think it's very beautiful and it's also a little bit different. Like usually you have really stylized you know, animated kind of covers, but it's just a photograph, and I just think it looks really cool. I really love it. And the last question is, what are some books that you really need to read by the end of this year? I really, really need to catch up on the works of Victoria Schwab, because I am like probably six books behind, but I only own these four, and I just haven't caught up with her entire body of work, and I love her as a writer, so I really, really need to catch up by the end of this year on some of these books. Those are all the questions in this tag. I would love to know from you guys what your favorite book of 2017 so far has been. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the comments. Bye!